what's going on guys it's omniarch and today i'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be spinning the wheel for genghis khan now i know genghis khan's been out for a long time but this is only the second wheel that he's been in this kingdom that i'm currently in and when he was on the wheel the first time in my original kingdom i wasn't that into the game i mean i played it a lot but i was focusing mainly on being free to play being a low spender and i wasn't really too worried about the legendaries i didn't know which legendaries were good which ones were bad uh so i kind of just skipped over genghis khan at that point um but now i see that he's a good commander he's great for cavalry he's great for skill damage and i want more of him so now that i'm in this new kingdom i have this opportunity uh last time he was on the wheel in this kingdom i actually did do a hundred full spins to get the 15 sculptures up here um i may be doing that again this time around who knows i do have 61,000 gems up in the corner and i do have my uh, gem supply uh going for quite a while actually we have 58 more days on the gem supply so almost two months left on that a couple things to keep in mind um if you're going to be spin, uh, spinning the wheel, uh, just know that you get one free spin every time the wheel comes around. You also get a half price spin once per day that the wheel is around. So the wheel is around for three days, which means you'll get one free spin and three half off spins. So that's four spins total. Um, if you are going to be doing those four spins, that's a pretty good option. Um, if you're a low spender, I would at least recommend getting to maybe the uh, 10 spins or maybe even the 25 spins if you want. Want those legendary heads it's up to you um the other thing to keep in mind too is if you're going to be doing spins on the wheel keep in mind how many gems you currently have and how long it's been since your most recent more than gems event because it may be the case that you know you have enough gems to max spin this wheel and it's a commander you really, you really want um but more than gems might be right around the corner and if you max spin the wheel then you'll be out of gems for that event and you'll be giving up those heads all the goodies things that you could do now it's up to you which event is more important to you uh, i personally think if you're still working towards uh, a max city hall and a max uh, t5 and everything like that uh, more than gems is probably a better event to spend your gems on but it really depends on how much you're spending in the in the game how you know how many gems do you usually have on hand if you don't mind refilling your gems for the more than gems event then by all means go ahead and go crazy on the wheel now another thing to know is that this uh spin five times for 3600 gems that's actually cheaper than if you were to buy five single spins so that's good to know if you are uh, buying a ton of spins it's best to just buy them in in bulks of five um so with that being said let's take a look at some of these rewards if you spin the wheel 10 times over the course uh, over three days right so this these extra rewards do not reset every day these extra rewards are a one-time thing for the course of the life of that wheel so this wheel again is around for three days so so this uh, is 100 spins in three days not in a single day so uh, if you spin the wheel 10 times you'll get five Genghis Khan sculptures for free which is awesome um, if you spin it 25 times you'll get five uh, universal legendary commander sculptures which is even better uh, plus you'll also get a decent amount of each resource if you spin it 45 times you will get 10 sculptures of Genghis Khan kind of okay kind of whatever uh 70 spins now we're talking like a ton of spins right like 70 is a lot um you get 10 legendary commander sculptures really great plus you'll get a bunch of different types of speed ups i really wish they didn't have the building speed ups in there but if you guys are still working towards a city hall level 10 then you'll get really great use out of that and finally if you get to 100 spins you will get 15 sculptures of genghis khan uh, that's a really big spend right there we'll talk about you know you'll see how many gems i use to get there um all all these spins are not going to be done in one day of course you do only have 60 spins per day um, so you can spin past the hundred if you do a max spin every single day um, but yeah it, it's up to you I think the value does it does come up in this in this extra rewards column once you go past 100 you're really not getting that much value um, so keep that in mind as well and kind of know when to stop right like like I said you are gambling with your gems here this is literally a gamble and I know that that each each spot on this wheel looks like it has an equal chance of being landed on but that is not the case there are 12 different things that you can get on the wheel but that does not mean that you have it you have a one in 12 chance of landing on the eight head drop for example and that's one thing that's 
unfortunately relatively misleading about the wheel um by just looking at it it would look like you have a one in 12 chance of landing on every single thing but if you click on this eye it will give you the actual probability of landing on things um the good news is that you have with every spin you have a 25 percent chance of getting a genghis khan sculpture uh so that's pretty good right you also have an eight percent chance of getting a legendary commander sculpture uh so if you add that on top of that you know it's a it's a pretty decent chance of getting what you're looking for that comes out to 33 percent so one in three uh one in three spins you should get at least one legendary commander sculpture if not the eight if you're really really lucky last time i spun up to 100 spins i got zero of the eight head uh drops which is really unlucky i think um so yeah with that being said let's just start spinning the wheel right let's use our free spin we'll see what the uh what the wheel gods have for us in store we'll get we'll get a free legendary commander sculpture i will take that that's absolutely amazing um let's use the 50 percent off spin as well um those legendary commander sculptures by the way the ones that i'm going to be uh getting that are universal are all going to be going into my isong a so uh anytime that i i get those that is also a nice warm welcome now everything else in this wheel um if we take a look everything is actually pretty good value i mean if we take a look at this for example right you get four eight hour speed ups here so if we do the math eight times four is 32 hours of speed ups i probably could have done that in my head but i'm lazy so you get 32 hours of speed ups for 800 gems now again if you do the five uh, the five spin that is actually a little bit cheaper but if you do 800 divided by 32 it comes out to 25 gems per hour which is even better than the eight hour speed ups in the uh, vip shop so that's really really great on top of that if you do the five spins for 3600 that comes out to 720 gems per spin which is 22 and a half gems per hour of speed up which is really great value so a lot of what you can get in here is really really good value um honestly i think the resources aren't that exciting to me uh if you are low of course that's great i think the worst thing in here is probably the building speed ups and some of the more common resources like food and wood let's do a five spin we'll see what happens uh we can uh, go ahead and use that we'll get a double star which is nice uh we'll get some building speed ups okay that's not very great we'll get a genghis khan sculpture so i'll take that and a universal i'll take that even more and we'll get more building speed up so that was not a really great one uh, we got two legendary commander sculptures this whatever uh way too many building speed ups unfortunately we are not going to need those um let's go ahead and spin it five more times because we want to get at least the 10 spot for today so we'll get some training speed ups that's not that bad i'll use those and again we'll take them for kvk that's cool and a universal is awesome i'll take that as well because we'll use them for isong Ye. and we got double star and finally we got double star again so only a single legendary commander sculpture in there not great you know i would have preferred these be uh research speed ups because we are still pushing towards t5 we're really close to having enough uh research speed ups to go all the way to uh two of the three remaining t5 that we need let's go ahead and open this chest because it will give us instantly more heads of genghis khan let's go ahead and spit five more times and we'll see what we can pull out of these ones so we will get some more training speed ups this wheel really wants me to uh to get some some more troops on the field we got a genghis khan we got some building speed ups and we got more training speed ups and finally we land on the double star so again only a single legendary commander sculptor from that really what we're looking for is those legendary commander sculptures so unfortunately uh that's not that great let's go ahead and spin it again now we were at about 61,000 gems before we did get a universal though so that's really great so keep an eye on the gems so you see how much i'm spending so you have a, gr a general idea of how much you'll spend to get each uh individual extra rewards thing here that's important to know we got some stone we got some more training speed ups we got the gold which i'm going to be needing a lot more of soon which is great let's use the five spin again so we can at least hit the 25 spin mark so we land so close to those eight heads right there we got the another legendary commander sculpture which is nice another legendary commander sculpture which is great and we got some wood and what is the final one gonna be it's the single Genghis Khan so that's a pretty good spin right there we got 45 hours of speed ups which is absolutely incredible value right there that is 16 gems per hour of speed up so that's super super really super good right there super good um we got three legendary commander sculptures in total which is incredible and we got some wood to round it off so that's fine and on top of that we will grab the legendary commander heads that we get in here we get five of those total and we get some resources from each individual type of resource which is awesome so let's go ahead and take a look our isong yeah, needs two more universal sculptures to get a skill up so you know what that means we're going to be spinning the wheel again today let's go ahead and do another five spot just to see where that lands us we will go ahead and grab a 
a bunch of wood right there we'll grab a genghis khan sculpture we will grab another genghis khan sculpture so that is nice and we'll get some food and what is the final one going to be another genghis khan sculpture okay so we didn't get any universals there but that's okay we got three genghis khan sculptures which is really really awesome let's spin five more times again we're looking for these universal commander sculptures at the moment so we got another genghis khan i'll take that of course of course we got another genghis khan yes this wheel is giving me what oh and we got the eight spot oh my god that's an incredible one that is an incredible spin best value i could have asked for jesus christ that is an incredible spin right there my god what is going on i wish all of them were that good we got 11 legendary commander sculptures from that that's absolutely insane let's go ahead and spin the wheel again we'll see what we can get this time i love that uh so we got the universal head right there that's what we were looking for all along of course we are not upset about the gang con uh, sculptures of course um but we do want to get that next skill on Isong Ye. So there we go. We got some more sculptures from this one. We got a Genghis Khan. We got some research speed ups, which is great. Gold we'll be using soon, I'm sure, and a legendary commander sculpture. Let's do another five spin. So we'll hit that 45 mark. And we're going to pick up another Genghis Khan sculpture right there, which is awesome. We got the eight spot again, baby. Let's go. That's incredible. So we got some wood as well. We got another Genghis Khan sculpture. And what is the final one gonna be? Another single Genghis Khan. So we got a again we got again 11 genghis khan sculptures from a five spin absolutely incredible this is making up for the such few genghis khan sculptures that i got the last time i spun to 100 i love spins like this because you can screenshot it and you can send it to your alliance and everybody freaks out because they're super mad that your spin was better than theirs little do they know how many spins it takes to actually get something like this but we don't have to tell them that right that's that's the fun part let's go ahead and pop open this uh 45 spin reward here we get 10 more Genghis Khan sculptures. So we're still fishing for one more universal so we can put a skill on Isong Ye, but we do have enough to add another skill to Genghis Khan, which is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We're gonna bring him to 5511. That seems to be the plan for now. Of course, eventually I will want to expertise him, uh, but that's gonna take a lot of sculptures and we got a lot of work to do on some other commanders first. So for now, uh, getting him to 5511 is gonna be really, really cool. So we had another skill here. This is a super important skill. If you are scaling him up, I do recommend going uh, five for the first uh, skill before you move him any farther than that. Once this is five, get the second one to five because this is also incredibly important for that rage requirement reduction super super good super super good from the other last two skills are probably equally as useful but but you know it, it doesn't really matter you can bring them all the way to four stars after that let's go ahead and spin and spin again on the wheel and see if we can get ourselves a universal commander sculpture because that's what we need for our boy isong ye can we get at least one please i would really appreciate that and we'll do the rest of the spins another day uh, but who knows maybe the wheel gods have something else in plan for us there it is baby we can add another skill to isong ye that's what we've been looking for for the last couple of spins i am going to leave it there guys we are going to be going to the seven you know what you know what if I'm going to go all the way to 70 regardless, why don't I just do it right now, right? Who cares? Let's go ahead and go all the way up to 70 if we can do it. I don't even know how many gems we have left, if we can even make that possible. But we are spinning the wheel here. We're trying to see how many Genghis Khan sculptures we can get uh, before this event is over. Let's go ahead and check this out. We've got some resources and we got some speed ups. We've got no legendary commander sculptures on that five spot. That is unfortunate. We did actually just run out of chances for today. I've never had that happen to me before because I usually spread these purchases out of the wheel across the few days that it is around. Um, but with that being said, you can see the first day you can actually go ahead and get uh 62 spins this was actually a pretty cool spin we got a star a double star and we got the legendary commander sculpture it is what it is but 62 spins on the first day is the maximum i believe that you can do i don't know if there's a way to go higher than that maybe there maybe there is i don't actually know um but yeah so let's go in here let's add another skill to our boy isong yay heck yeah dude convert those 45 no problem hopefully it goes in the second one come on baby let's put a skill point into destiny let's do it let's do it yes let's go that's the one we wanted that's the one that increases your active skill damage i think this skill is way better than his uh his hosan dynasty i don't even know i probably pronounce it terribly i apologize you guys but this is incredibly good for the active skill damage so i'm super happy to see that hopefully our next skill point goes in this one as well this is the one that we're shooting for i really really love that now since we only need two more sculptures of charles martel to add a skill point to him 
and because we are running a little bit low on gems let's go ahead and buy the daily chests here in the shop uh the cool thing about these daily special offers is that for me since i have expertise Cao Cao already these have charles martel treasure of the martel's heart items and these treasures do have a chance of dropping a charles martel sculpture so we're gonna go ahead and purchase all three of those and see what happens maybe hopefully we can get at least two charles martel in these chests um you know the 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 intelligent side of me is saying hey you'll get them from gold keys eventually but honestly i really want them sooner than later uh the sooner i can get him expertise the better i just i really want to see him totally beefed out just totally jacked put him on my garrison put him as a secondary to richard out on the field and we can do some serious work with full infantry so i really want to get another skill point on charles martel and maybe we can get it from these daily special offers all right so the purchases are complete we got all three of these so this gives us what 1200 gems which is pretty cool uh that's a third of a five spin so that's one way to look at it if you want to look at it that way let's go ahead and go into our items we can collect our vip points right away because why would we wait let's pop these individually right so we go first one there it is there it is baby we got four charles martel sculptures right away we don't even have to open the other two and we can add a skill to him but of course course we're going to open them okay it is a video we got a silver key and the final one is another silver key so I, that's kind of what i expected let's pop this golden key just to see if we get any more martel sculptures from here that would be pretty crazy we got mehmed we got mehmed okay that's that's the boy right there we don't actually uh use mehmed but it is what it is we'll pop these silver keys baby because why not we're just opening everything right now okay we're opening all the chests we're spinning all the wheels we're summoning all the commanders we're converting all the sculptures into skills we're doing it all okay it doesn't even matter we're gonna just pop all these chests the real reason that i'm opening the silver keys is because there is uh there is actually a challenge for lucerne scrolls to open 70 of them we are getting pretty close to that that's actually why i open them uh because there is there is a purpose for it okay there is a purpose what are we doing here what is this osiris league thing there it is baby that 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 green arrow on a legendary commander sculpture i love to see it i love to see it man i love to see it now here's the thing i really would rather it go into counterattack. i would really rather this skill go into counterattack because this is already pretty good right i already have it at four this is great we have a total of a 16 percent uh, buff to our garrison right eight percent to watchtower eight percent to garrison let me be honest with you guys okay that watchtower buff is not that great but regardless I don't really need the uncrowned king right i don't need this at five what i really need is this at five because this helps not only on the wall but also in the open field so fingers crossed we get martel's counterattack. there it is baby there it is we we won the lottery here uh two out of two upgrades for our legendary commanders landed on the skills that we wanted it was a 50 50 in both chances and we we pulled out ahead we the odds were in our favor this time i'm super happy about that hopefully the next time we can get the same odds uh you know what it's gonna be now right the next time i, I get a skill on martel it's gonna go to this one and the next time i get a skill on isong ye it's gonna go to the one that i don't want as well that's just how that works that's just how well that's not actually how statistics work but that's how luck works in the real world okay i'm just gonna give you guys a little life lesson there so this video was pretty productive we did spin a ton of uh, of the wheel we got a skill up on charles martel we got a skill up on our boy isong ye and we got a skill up on our boy genghis khan so lots of legendary commander sculptures were used in the making of this video but don't worry guys nothing was injured except for our gem counter now i do want to remind you guys if you are playing rise of kingdoms what we did in this video was spend a ton of gems we spent a little bit of money as well don't feel compelled to emulate this type of behavior in your own playthroughs once in a while and even for me events like this i don't typically spend this many gems and i don't typically uh summon this many legendary commanders and do all this crazy stuff on a daily basis right so don't feel compelled to go and spend a bunch of money on the game to to do this type of thing don't go and spend a, a ridiculous amount of gems play it smart do the right thing okay don't be reckless with your gems or your money this is a mobile game right let's not forget that it is just a mobile game uh so i know there's a lot of times where it is there's a huge incentive to spend or to uh do a certain event like the wheel and i just want you guys to know that even for me uh this is not something that i do very often you should be very strategic with these types of events and with this level of spending 
Uh, not that I spent a lot in this video, but I spent a lot of gems in this video. And basically, just, just be responsible when it comes to, to games and events like this, okay? Just be responsible. That's it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a thumbs up on it. I would really, really appreciate that. Comment down below if you have any questions about Genghis Khan, the wheel, any sort of legendary commander questions, anything like that. I'll be super happy to answer them in the questions in the comment section below. Um, if you guys are new around here, subscribe to the channel, click that bell to be notified the next time that I upload a video. I really would appreciate that. And it does help my channel out a ton. My social media links, my discord and my Twitch channel are all in the description below. If you want to go follow me on there or join my discord, if I'm live, playing rise of kingdoms or any other game feel free to come in and ask me any questions that you have about this game and i will be more than happy to answer them for you with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been on the archive we'll talk to you guys again soon peace